Well, hello there, humans of these earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to Channel I'm Bushka. And today we're going to be talking about one of the most, well, one of the more underrated tanks, I feel, um, in Tier 7. This is the Tiger 1. This is a tank that just doesn't really get talked about as a good tank. Uh, people tend to prefer the Tiger P. At one time, I had the Tiger 1 rated as one of my top five tanks in Blitz. It had a patch where it just... For some reason, they just buffed the absolute crap out of it. Um, <laughs> they nerfed it again like a patch later. So, you know, it is what it is. But the Tiger One is a tank that I think is really, really important. If you can drive the Tiger One well, you're a good player. Uh, it's And it's a, a good way of... If you can get this tank and learn how to make the most out of it, um, there are a lot of tanks that then can be driven, if you know what I mean. It's a really good training tank. Now, I'm going to do another video on training tanks. One of my patrons, Anders Clint, um, had a chat to me about training tanks the other day and how, just long story short, there's a lot of tanks in Blitz that if you use them at lower tiers, they're excellent tanks that speak very much towards their higher tier counterparts. Like, there's certain tanks, some of the German, like the DW2 and all that kind of thing, that you, you use them at low tiers and they can have a play style that replicates higher tiers. And the Tiger One is a tank, I think, that has a lot going for it that isn't really talked about and actually relates quite well to higher tier tanks. Uh, the Tiger One has an inordinate amount of DPM for a tier seven heavy, 2,400 DPM. It has just crazy mobility for a tier seven heavy. You can get the hull traverse speed on this thing up to about 50 degrees. 50 degrees, that is really, really good. Uh, in terms of top end speed, um, well, I mean, you think heavy tank, top end speed, it's not gonna be all that good. You wouldn't really, well, you'd be wrong. It goes 44 kilometers an hour and it gets there pretty damn quick for a heavy. And it is a heavy tank. It's got a 1450 hit point health pool it has uh what's the side armor on the tiger let me just quickly i think it's 80 82 millimeters on the side which you can easily get up to 300 plus millimeters if angled correctly and means you can side scrape the thing uh the frontal armor is weaker than a lot of heavies at its tier but it's still enough that if you run into like this thing shreds medium tanks even when they fire APCR, you can easily have frontal armor if you just slightly angled. It's up towards 200 millimeters while holding about 200 millimeters on your side armor as well. Coupled with a very hard to pen turret when you're jiggling it around. And like mediums expect to be able to get around you in this tank. They just do not realize that this thing is one of the very best, most fun heaviums to drive in the game. It... It always boggles the mind for me that the Tiger One is this, it's like a big fat medium tank, right? But in reality, in real life, we all know that the Tiger One was like a breakthrough tank that was a monster. It was just enormous. It was so huge and it got swarmed by loads of smaller, lesser armored vehicles with less firepower. And that's how it got, it drilled out, you know? Like it, this is, this is, not the Tiger One that you see in the storybooks or in the Hollywood movies. This thing flies. This is coming out of the, the spawn here and doing 44 kilometers an hour with all this traverse. Now, the other thing is it's got gun depression. It's got seven degrees of gun depression, okay? Now, that might not like sound, that might not sound like a lot to you. The tank that I find, this tank similar in play style to, uh, in, in a tier 10 tank would be something like the, the T110E5. It's a very good, uh, it's it's obviously not able to side scrape like a Tiger One can at its own tier, but it's got gun depression, good DPM and a good gun for a tier 10 heavy. And it's pretty quick and pretty mobile. It's not as extreme as the Tiger One. And the Tiger One has to be extreme because it's in a tier that's got just stupid tanks in it. Your Draculas, your Helsings, your uh, Lupuses, you know, rear turreted, uh, guns that that have 11 degrees of gun depression. All these crazy tanks, right? And the Tiger One has to deal with them. A lot of people play this thing very, very poorly. Um, and it's... 
it's tough enough that you have to find mediums. Like if you want to go and play an IS-8, um, playing with some kind of weird lag here where it keeps, you can see, uh, it, I think it's called packet loss, 3%, 3%. 2%, 3% of packet loss, and it's back to 0%. Any times it says loss 0%, I'm worried, because that generally means that there's some packet loss coming. Um, 1%, yeah, there we go again. I don't know what was going on. The, the interweb was hating me. Um, I also have like 108 ping, which is the best ping I've ever had on Blitz, and it just dipped to 96 there, so I don't know what's going on with that. That's crazy. Uh, where was I? I just I didn't realize what that ping was. That's the best ping. Uh, yeah, the only place I could have uh, bounced off that... Pantera, good good work for me. Uh, where the hell was I? Yeah, the the tank needs to be sent out to bully mediums. But when things get tough, you can angle this thing down a heavy line. Now you you learn two things here. You learn about uh, taking a heavy into a medium flank, which is good, and out muscling these uh, low pen. Mediums. That's why I went for the Type 62 first. Not just because he was a one-shot, but because he's got 250 millimeters of heat pen if he starts getting amorous. Uh, and number two is using a tank with good gun depression, but not crazy gun depression, because that's exactly what you have here. So you have to learn to uh, get shots that are, that are hard to find for a lot of tanks, right? And through all that, you move like an absolute monster I, I i just i mean this is a really good tank you've got speed you've got armor you've got gun depression you've got high dpm and yet it doesn't get driven because i don't know it's just people tend to overlook the tiger one i've all been i've been such a proponent of it for so long and the fact that it it also prepares you for life with a lot of other tanks like german tanks in general if you can drive this and side scrape voila that's the German tank line. Uh, the Tiger P is quite popular for a lot of people. I don't like the gun handling, and I prefer the speed of the Tiger 1. That's that's all there is to it. I mean, I think this tank just gives you more options than a Tiger P. A Tiger P is a lot less subtle and a lot more blunt force trauma. Um, the Tiger 1 is just a touch above for me, although, you know, most people prefer the P. I can't help that. Uh, I, like the, I like the nuance of the 1. Uh, and again... You know, when push comes to shove, you can set up for these quick uh, quick side scrapes and stuff. Now, I got caught out there. That was me overextending. I didn't think that KV-3 was going to get across far enough to actually get that shot in. But you're going to see in just a second, we are going to get in a position and we're just going to use this crazy good DPM gun. Now, this is a gun that admittedly doesn't have a huge amount of alpha. Uh, the alpha damage on the Tiger 1 is 220. But you've got 10.96 uh, rounds per minute. And when you drop the adrenaline, you can see I'm going to perma-track while clearing another tank. This guy's trying to get backwards up the hill. No, stay right where you are, buddy. Um, that's all right. And then we'll finish you out as the bell goes for a five kill. That's a Viper. That is an absolute Viper of a heavy tank. I was angled there. So if he pushed up, I could still hold an angle and not get penned. You can take it down the one line on Fort Despair against same tier tanks and it will do wonders. It's a really good vehicle that just gets completely overlooked. And if you want to train for something else like side scraping German heavy tanks like Mouses and E100s and things like that, this is a great place to start because it's an unforgiving tank. If you over angle, you will get penned. Uh, and if you can play the Tiger 1, you will do really, really well in a Lerva and a Tiger II. Those are two very good German heavy tanks, despite the fact that they probably don't have the rep, particularly the Tiger II that it should have. Uh, the Tiger II is an excellent heavy tank. Um, you know, the, the thing is, a lot of these tanks, people whinge and bitch and moan about, and they just don't know how to drive them. If you can take this thing and turn it into a, a tank that you can actually side scrape with um, and you know how to hold angles with and you can see me grinding it around so that I can get that angle, there we go, uh, then you're going to be a much better tanker for it. <laughs> just, it's, it's a very, very rewarding vehicle. And I love it. I think it's very nice to drive and I think it's uh, able to fulfill a lot of roles in the battlefield. And... 
when you learn how to drive this thing, you'll just be a better tanker overall. Fast, deadly, violent, <laughs> full of full of aggressive uh, tiger-like homicidal tendencies. It's my kind of vehicle. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, we've had a weird week. My ISP shut me down for four days, and then it just had, after I finally got put back on, the ISP decided to actually have a, uh, a nana and and vanish. Uh, it it went off. You know, look at these angles. That that SU one hundred Y has to keep dragging back around because he can't get an angle on that. You can get it out to three hundred and eighty millimeters of sidearm at this thing. It's not hard, uh, and you will get bounces, particularly off medium tanks. Um, lots more content coming in the very near future, boys and girls. Look after yourselves. Love your work and stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.